Hello everybody! In this video I will show you how to install Laravel on a DigitalOcean droplet. All that you need to follow along is a DigitalOcean account. If you don't have an account already, you can use the link below the video and get a $100 free credit that you could use to spin up your own servers. Once you have your account ready, go to marketplace.digitalocean.com that's the DigitalOcean Marketplace, where you could find a lot of one-click applications which you could use to deploy on virtual machines or Kubernetes clusters. You could pick from a WordPress image, Docker image, a preset cPanel image, and a lot more. In our case, we would just search for Laravel, and sure enough, it shows up. If you click on the search result, then you would get to a page where you would get more information about the image and the software that comes with the image. For example, here we have Nginx, PHP, certboard for our SL certificates. Then in order to get this up and running, just hit the create button. This will take you to your account where you will specify the details for your new droplet. First, we would need to choose the size of our droplet. I would go for this $10 per month droplet. Then you can select the region where you want the droplet to be deployed. I will select all of my SSH keys. I would also select monitoring. Then I'll choose a host name. And of course I would enable backups, so that's highly recommended. And then just hit the create button. After that, in under a minute, your droplet would be up and running and you'd get a new IP address that you could use to access your server or point your domain name to. Okay, sure enough, that's done. Then I'll just go ahead and copy this IP address here. Now, if I go back to the Laravel Marketplace page, there are some instructions on how to get started. The first thing that we need to do is SSH to the server. So I'll just go to my terminal and type SSH root at followed by the IP of the new droplet. Then here I'll put my passphrase. The first thing that we need to do is specify our domain name. I will just put demo.bobby.sh and hit enter. Then what happens is our database details get configured. We also get a new Laravel app key. Then we'll be asked if we want an SL certificate. But before we proceed, we actually need to point our domain name or subdomain name to the server's IP address so that Let's Encrypt could uh, validate our domain name. To do that, go to your DNS zone manager. In my case, I use Cloudflare. So I would go to Cloudflare and then add a new A record for my demo.bobby.sh domain name and then add the IP address of the server. I would disable the proxying so that it's only DNS. And finally, I would hit save. Now I have my demo subdomain name pointing to my droplets IP. So Servbot will be able to verify my domain name and issue a certificate. Then I will go back to my terminal. Here I would select yes. Then I'll put my email address. I would agree to the terms and conditions. Then I would need to choose the domain name that I would like to activate HTTPS for. I would just select one. Then in a few seconds, Let's Encrypt would verify my domain name and issue a certificate for me. After the verification has been done, I would need to choose if I want to redirect to HTTPS or if I would like to set it to no redirect so that if somebody visits my site, they would either be redirected to HTTPS or not. I would go for two so that it redirects to HTTPS. Now, if I copy my domain name and go back to my browser, sure enough, I will be able to see the Laravel installation. So this is pretty much it. This is how you can install Laravel with just a couple of clicks on DigitalOcean. Hope you find this useful and I'll see you next.